all right so in this session uh, we'll be talking about the azure cosmos db so what's azure cosmos db now uh, azure cosmos db is a microsoft's globally distributed and uh, multi-model database now you can see that i have highlighted two things here a uh, globally distributed and uh, multi-model now when you say globally distributed you can see in the image that there are 54 regions worldwide supported and overall 140 countries so let's talk a bit more about what's globally distributed as the name suggests that your database will be uh, you know distributed across you can be distributed across 54 regions how we can do that uh, let's go to azure portal here and uh, let's see what's the process here okay so here you can see that i am on my azure portal now let's go back to your cosmos db Now I've created an Azure DB account here and uh, that's something we'll discuss uh, in a later session. But for now, let's look at it. Now this is my Azure DB account. And if you go to replicate data globally, you can see, now it's updating something. Give it a minute to update. Okay, so all the updates are successful and you can see that there could be multiple locations and you can select uh, individual locations based upon your applications requirements and uh, you know the customer base and stuff like that. Now if I scroll down here, <clears throat> there's one right reason and there could be multiple read regions. So as if you if you select any region like Central US or North US or you know central india anything you can click on it save and then it's gonna replicate your data to that region or to the data center now if you look at on top uh, there are two failovers uh, manual failovers and automatic fa failovers so as you understand that failover what's failover for some reason if your east us which is your right reason goes down uh, you know the west us which is at the top will become your right reason if needed you can change the setting also so let's see how we can change the setting so if you click on automatic failover on okay and then here are the priorities so if east us goes down my first priority is west us and then you can actually change the priorities also by you know moving your region like this okay and once that's done just click on OK and that's how you can change your failover uh, you know region priority and save it so now let's go back and uh, look at the multi-model what exactly the multi-model is all right so you can see multi-model multi api support here uh, azure cosmos db allows you to use key value graph column family and document data that's in one service that's something we'll look when we'll actually get into the the demo session and uh, once you have created your data in a different you know your your model you have multiple api support to access your data and these are sql api you can use mongodb you can use graph table or cassandra Okay, so that's about it in this session. Uh, in the next session, we'll be talking about uh, the database consistency level and uh, scenarios where what database consistency level you should be using and why. Thank you.